Let's actually figure out how big is theta 2. Let's take a piece of paper and actually work out how big would theta 2 be here. Uh, well, I guess I'd have to tell you, let's say that we're moving in here at a 70 degree angle. So the light originally came in at a 70 degree angle. We're going from air into the water. Water has an index of refraction of 1.33. Uh, we know that the uh, light is coming in at a 70 degree angle through the air uh, into water, which has an index of refraction of 1.33. And the question is, how big is the new angle going to be in the water? How big is theta 2 going to be? What's the equation that you're using? Uh, I was going to use Snell's law. And what does Snell's law say? N1 times the sine of theta 1 equals N2 times the sine of theta 2. OK, good. Uh, what are we plugging in for N1? Uh, let's, see. let's go through this together. Uh, what are we plugging in for N1? Uh, 1. Because we're starting in the air. You need to have that memorized. And what are we plugging in for theta 1? All right, and when I was looking over your shoulder, it looked like you left out the sign. I did. Okay. Mm. I guess I did. Let's do this on paper. Take your time and let's work this out on paper. So, um, so let's start by writing down a good equation on your paper. What's the equation we're working with here? Okay, so now let's plug in. Okay, so let's write down what we have so far. Okay, so, <laughs> so far we've worked out 0 0.7065 equals sine theta 2, taking the sine of 70 and dividing by 1.33. Mm -hmm. All right, um, but we still have to figure out what theta 2 is. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we'll have to do a little bit more algebra here. Uh, well, do you know, what's the next step? What do we have to do to get theta 2 by itself now? I don't know. Inverse sine? Good. Actually, I think we saw this when we were working on trigonometry way back at the beginning of the physics course. Sure. The way to figure out the angle that you're taking the sine of is to do the inverse. You always want to do the opposite. Sure. So here, we're going to take the arc sine, or the inverse sine. sure on your calculator that you're working in degrees mode, but look like you're in degrees mode there. Uh, all right, 
So we take the arc sine of both sides. The arc sine of the sine just cancels that out. So we're left with theta 2 equals uh, 45 degrees here. And where would that go in our picture? That would be this little angle here, 45 degrees. Okay, so um, it's important to review how to work with the algebra here. So anytime you're using Snell's law, you probably have to take an inverse sine, like we did over here, to get the angle um, by itself. In this example, were we moving into a medium with a bigger n or a smaller n than we started? With a bigger n. So would we have expected the angle to get bigger or smaller? Smaller. That means we expect to move to bend towards the normal. And that's what we actually did. We went from the 70 to the 45. 